What's up guys? Welcome back to Sundown Audio Unofficial, your home for all behind the scenes footage from here at Sundown Audio. My name's Derek and this is going to be another episode of Tech Time. Today's episode I'm going to talk to you about DMMs, digital multimeters, and show you that not all are created equal. So let me set this camera down, show you what I mean. Alright, here on the test bench I have two DMMs. One is made by Xtech, one is made by Craftsman. They both look extremely similar, almost identical, but they are not, and I'm gonna show you why. If I'm trying to read the impedance of a subwoofer, and I take this Craftsman, you touch your leads together, and you're gonna get impedances just all over the place. It's gonna be everywhere. This is the type of DMM you don't, do not trust. If I take this X-Tech, and I do the same, I can touch these leads together and it's going to give me almost no impedance, no resistance between these leads. So if you use a meter like this X-Tech to check out your system, your subwoofers, it's going to give you a pretty good reading. You use a meter like this Craftsman and you just don't know what it's gonna say. Your impedance is gonna look all over the place. Your subwoofer is gonna look like there's something wrong with them. And I'll show you another example. Here's a different Craftsman we have. And these work great as voltmeters, but for reading impedance, they're not very good. So if we take this one, and I touch these leads together, again, this impedance is all over the place. So here you are thinking you've got a dual four ohm subwoofer you're gonna hook up a DMM like this, and you're not gonna know what's going on. You're gonna think your subwoofer's bad. We actually get that a lot here at the shop. Guys think there's something wrong with their subs when it's just a faulty DMM. All right, so hopefully that helps y'all out. Some of these DMMs can still be used if they read consistent. If you can touch the leads together and you have a consistent, say, 0.4, whatever it is, consistent impedance, you can still check your system. You can still check your subwoofer as long as you notice know a subtract whatever the resistance of your leads are. But if you have one that you touch the leads together and that resistance is just up and down, it's all over the place, don't trust it, don't use it, get yourself another DMM. Do not trust Harbor Freight DMMs. The ones they give away free, they're garbage, they don't work. You could read it one day, it'll say it's got a resistance of 0.4, the next day it's got a resistance of 1.4. They will be all over the place, I've played with them, they just don't work. Best advice, get yourself a good DMM, spend the money, it's totally worth it. If you like what we're doing here on the channel, don't forget to click that thumbs up button, give us a like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, share. Till next time, see you then.